Hi, Robert Medlin here. I want to tell you this morning uh, the secret to getting your prayers answered. And it really comes from Mark 11, uh, verse 24. And it's, it's something that, that uh, is, is hard to, to, uh, to get Christians to, to understand. It's hard for anyone to understand uh, because we get these preconceived ideas about uh, why God isn't answering our prayers or, or why our prayers weren't answered or, or, uh, or something like that. But, but this verse really uh, will, will help you, I believe. Uh, Mark 11:24 says, Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you have received them, past tense, and you will have them, future tense. <clears throat> so what, what the Lord is saying here, what Jesus is saying here, is that whenever you pray, whatever things you're desiring when you pray, uh, he, the, there's a scripture in the Old Testament that says that he, he gives you the desires of your heart. Whatever things you desire when you pray, believe you have received them, past tense. Believe you already have them, past tense, and you will have them. Uh, one of the best examples uh, in our own ministry of this is Diane and I had an opportunity to minister to a man who was injured in Vietnam. He'd been on crutches for 35 years and uh, was in constant pain. And so uh, he agreed to let us pray for him. And so I taught him, I showed him in the Bible. Uh, he wasn't a, 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 a Christian that, that would go to church every week. And, and, uh, but he and his wife, they believed in Jesus. They went to church maybe once a year at Easter time. But I, I got the Bible, my Bible out and I had him look at the scripture with me. Uh, Mark 11:24. Whatever things you desire when you pray, believe you have received them. I, I asked him, I said, now, now, do you see where that says, believe you have received it and then you will have it? Do you have to believe you receive it first? And he said, yeah, yeah, I see that. Well, uh, we all need to be reminded of that, that we all need to see that. Believe you have received it and you will have it. And so uh, Diane and I prayed for him. He was instantly healed. Uh, he, one of his legs was numb from the hip down. The other was numb from the knee down. Uh, his doctor just, his VA doctor just that week had ordered him a new electric wheelchair because he didn't think he'd be able to get around on his crutches any uh, much longer. Uh, he was instantly healed. He ran around the Walmart parking lot with me. Uh, it was a, just a great time. He came up to our church in Reading uh, that we were pastoring at the time and, and uh, shared his testimony and, and brought some friends with him and they shared what it was like to know him before he was healed and after he was healed. But the secret to his getting healed was that he believed, he believed that that he believed he he believed that he had received his healing before he saw it. When we prayed, he believed when we prayed that he received his healing. That's all you know. That that was all he understood. Yeah, I understand. I got to believe that. Yeah, I have received it. Yeah, okay. So sometimes it might take you know one second, ten seconds, thirty seconds. It might take. It might take uh, a day. It might take three days, ten days. It might take a year. Some of, some prayers may take ten years. Some prayers may take forty years to be answered. Uh, but if we believe that we have received it, when we pray, believe we have received it, then we will have it. And so uh, that's that's what the Lord wants us to get this morning. Is that is that uh, He will answer all of our prayers. He will answer all of our prayers. He will give us the desires of our heart. But we have to believe when we pray that we have that we have received it. Now, now, what if you you know you should pray all the time and ask the Lord to do things, and you should keep praying and ask the Lord to do things until you know that you believe that He said yes, and that's believing you have received. And so, uh, it's okay to pray and not really believe you've received. It's okay to to pray for somebody's salvation and you don't see any evidence and you just you know you just keep praying lord save them please save them please save them keep praying please save them or please please do this please do that until you believe that he's that he said yes and uh and so uh and then you can just take the scripture mark eleven twenty four. therefore whatever things you desire when you pray believe you have received them so you just believe if you're praying for somebody to be saved just believe that jesus said yes and just start thanking him what we do then is we just thank him uh, whenever you think of that person, thank you, Lord, that that person is saved. Thank you, Lord, that my loved one is saved. Thank you, Lord, that you've saved my loved one. Thank you, Lord. And so when, then we can just thank him whenever whenever that thought comes to our mind. Uh, thank him for whatever it is we've asked for. Just thank him that he's done it. And so that's the way you pray uh, after you have received as you pray with thanksgiving. And you just thank him. Thank you, Lord, uh, that you've done this for me. And so if you will do that, uh, then Jesus promises that 
whatever things you desire when you pray, believe you have received them. And he said, you will have them. And he's serious about that. And he, he means that. He he wouldn't lie to you. He wouldn't tell you something that wasn't true. And that's true. If if we believe we have received. So so just just uh, get this scripture. Meditate on this scripture. Uh, think about this scripture until you believe it. And so when, then when you pray, uh, if you believe you have received, then you can just start thanking him for that point on. So the important thing is to pray, though. But but uh, but it's even more important uh, after you pray to believe that you have received. And so when you believe you have received, you're going to get what you're praying for. And I know this is going to bless you. And uh, uh, and I, to me, I think you'll agree. Uh, it's a it's a very important scripture. Very very important to know this. It's something that uh, uh, that'll really help you all your life. And so. Uh, Uh, Have a wonderful, awesome day, and may every one of your prayers, may you believe that you have received them, and you will have them. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.